G'day guys, Damo here, and welcome to the Northern Territory. It's been a couple of days on the road now. Uh, I think it took us about three and a half days to get up to uh, Mataranka Homestead. We stayed up in Mataranka for uh, two nights, just to give their kids a, uh, a bit of a rest out of the car. Um, we're now we're on the Roper Highway heading on to on the way to Lorella Springs we're about 413 k's away and uh, yeah this is this is the highway Raptors going, going brilliant. Uh, pretty much sort of what we, what we would have expected uh, so far. Uh, we had to keep a lot of the load based in the trailer, just to save on the um, weighting down the tow rig itself. Not a lot of room to play with with uh, GVM and weights onto the car, so we've kept fairly light stuff in the car. Anything heavy. We've, uh, we've shifted out to the back. Fuel economy is going a thousand times better than uh, than I expected. I mean, right now we're we're running on about 13.6 litres to the hundred, and that's that's sitting on 125 k's an hour with the with the trailer in tow. So obviously on this highway now we're doing on the Roper Highway we're doing a fair bit slower than that. Um, some sections we can sit on 110. Mostly, uh, mostly we're just going to be travelling on about 100. As far as comfort goes in the in the Raptor for long trips, this this truck is second to none. I could literally, I could sit in this car all day long. It's such a pleasure to do to to do long stretches in this car, without a doubt, hands down. Cruise control, sitting here. Bloody brilliant. Only 413 k's to go and we'll be in a rally. See you then.
So I've just pulled up here for a second. Um, because it blew out the tyre before, we're just going to try and take a bit of weight off the trailer. We're going to get some of these jerrys, transfer the fuel over into the um, into the Raptor, and and see how we go with that. Just take a bit of weight off, because obviously that tyre's that tyre's rooted. So we'll do that. Everyone's going to uh, everyone's just doing a quick check of their vehicles. We've done probably. Nearly 300 k's along the dirt now. We're not we're not that far away from the turn off to Lorella, so hopefully we'll we'll get there and maybe only sitting on about 80, I suppose. the The problem with the Raptor is it's it's running it's running so smooth across across all the dirt. You're forgetting about the gear, which I think is the problem why we why I end up doing the uh, doing the tyre. So I forget about the trailer. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll grab the fuel in. Take a bit of weight off there, and uh, we'll get going. All right, so we've got that diesel in. So the, all the boys are just doing some checks now. Let's check on Dad. What? on down here dad? Ah, oh, water pump died. Water pump? Yeah, we've just got a bit of muck in the switch I think. Give that a try. That's got it cooking. Pressure switch cut in. Happy days. Once you burn that before, righto. So, guys opposed to, you know, you can't run run all day long, so opposed to do, uh, do your vehicle checks. Take the time. Have a look at it, and everything will be sweet. So it's day seven of the uh, of the trip. We were meant to get into uh, Lorella yesterday, but we found a beautiful little spot along the way called um, Town Springs. So we decided to pull in there for the night, and uh, yeah, really that was that was great, well worth it. The, um, the boys caught a couple of barrow money there. Yeah, we had a campfire, cooked up a real nice, real nice meal, and uh, no, really good, uh, really good spot. Highly recommended if you're coming through. Uh, we're on the Savannah Way still. Got about 140 k's to go, I think. Maybe 150 k's to go till the Lorella Homestead uh, to start the trip, uh, but. We've just saw on the map a little place called Butterfly Springs. So um, we're probably going to stop in there. It's about 70 k's along, and we'll stop in there, have a swim, have a bit of a uh, bit of a lunch. Everything's going good. We're sort of sitting on. We're taking it easy, just sort of sitting on about 80 k's an hour. I mean the um, up until now, the the road's been really good. We're just cruising on 80, we're just trying to conserve a bit of fuel. Uh, we're using, we've jacked up to about 15, 15 and a half litres uh, per 100 now, now we hit the dirt. Um, but other than that, it's, it's going good, so we'll see up at the, we'll see up at the springs for a swim. So it's day uh, day eight today. Day eight. We've just spent the night at uh, Lorella Campground. Pretty good, really good facilities here. Actually, taps everywhere. Uh, nice clean water. Nice little hot spring to start the, um, the homestead. We've had uh, we've had a quick look at the map, and the maps really good map in here. 
Uh, so, I mean, you could really just stay at the main campsite and uh, spear off to all the attractions. Everything's sort of within, from what we can gather, about uh, half a day uh, of, of the main campground. But what we're going to do, we're going to leave the, uh, the campsite tonight. We're going to spear out to the coast. Uh, I think on the agenda is we'll, we'll hit the secret spot the secret spot first and uh, maybe a night or two out there and go around and see what else we can see but uh, right now just topping off the water tanks getting everything sorted we had a little issue with the um, with the batteries so we've had a generator running just to top up the uh, the trailer battery we sort of didn't get enough charge into that from when we stayed at Mataranka for a couple of days so otherwise She's going good so far. Can't wait to hit the tracks. All right, see you there.
If you get down in the hole, you'll see when the nippers come out. Ready? Through that, and you'll be in lots of pain for a bit, and then he'll be good. Crocodile Dundee. No wonder they call him Like he's super muddy. He's gonna run away. He's looking at you. 